Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gone Fishing. So, bit of a weird one, as per usual. <laughs> it's always mad. Never Chris normal. Has, Chris has been ill with the Rona, he's had the all clear. So this is his first trip back. Yes. Um, I've left it up to him where we're going to go. I haven't got a clue. Neither do I. So, he's going to start the car, or the van. Brum brum. And then, um, I don't know where he's going to take me. This could end up. Yeah, we're not going to go far, I don't think, mate. It's going to be one of our normal marks. But which one is it? It's a high tide. Quite a high tide, actually, isn't it? 9.4, 9.5, yeah, something like that. Yeah, there, yeah. It's just um, shy of 10. It's a late one, so we want to go somewhere where we've fished before, where we know the more than likely are going to be fish. But we don't want to get our gear ripped all over the place, do we? No, but it's up to you, mate. Yes, you see. Uh, you got Cog Corner, you've got the arches, but. Cog Corner and that, it's way too high. You're going to get your line? Yeah, yeah you can't. It's got to be somewhere on the Mersey. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just see. Start anyway. the van, mate. Let's go. <laughs> right, we'll catch you on the other side. Great choice, Chris. Great choice, mate. Yes, well, to be Where are we sweet. fishing? What? There. Go over there, aren't we? We're going over there? Yeah, it's going over there, parking out the way. Sound? Yeah, but we've got unfinished business here, haven't we? Yeah, well, last time we were here, if you remember, on the last video, I put a, a thingy up there, or up there, um, the fog. We blanked. Yeah, wasn't uh, the best dash in life. It was weird. It was, it was very weird, so we've got to get rid of that blank. So let's get bashing let's for get some cod. It. Let's get on it. I have upgraded my box. As you can see, got the brand newest tool. The uh, out pliers keeping everything together. But anyway, keeping the lid open. All right, so I've now got a tray that I'm going to use for my bait to keep the bait separate from the gear because I'm sick of getting juice all over my gear so I'm using that from now on as you can see it's got me bait in there a few crabs you know this is just today me chopping board my knife scissors and I've got now got a place oh, a couple of codzillas as well don't forget you can get them at the shack pre-order them if you need to as well did put my bait elastic in here, there it is, trusty bait elastic, always goes back in there with my scissors. I don't mean to blow my own horn like, but this was frozen, where this came into the shack frozen and it's been defrosted and it is gorgeous to die for. Look at that, you can't beat that, that is some nice worm. So I'm getting that on that and I'm getting it out there.
I've got one rod out, but it's not far out. So we're gonna go over, gonna see what's going on with Christoph. Oh, it's gone the van. 12 seconds later. Just finished baiting off, mate. Let's see what flapper there. Bit of frozen wave. Checked with a little bit of mackerel on the bottom, just to keep Your it on the place. Your speciality, that mate. Yeah, it is. Wins every time. Same on the top there. Yeah. Uh, on this one, we're going to go for the Wessex, mate. Wessex, I haven't used a Wessex for a while. For the uh, masses, can you explain what the Wessex does and how it works? Uh, Wessex is basically, you know, on just similar in appearance. It looks very much like a flapper. You've got basically a fixed swivel there. Length. And what I've done on this is just put a bit of a squid. Mm -hmm. Trace on the bottom, but with the Wessex on the bottom, seems to have like a running ledger sort of thing effect, so oh, yeah. it can move up, right up and down. That's quite a length, then, isn't it? It is. So, if something basically takes that base, it can swim up before there's any sort of tension that's made in the line, you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes it could work, sometimes it could give the fish a chance to get away. I think it seems to remember you uh, using the Wessex quite a lot and being quite successful in the summer. Yeah, with the bass and that, mate, so that's what I use the Wessex on with the bass. Yeah, maybe the same with the cod then. Yes, um, well, my little secret, the last time I caught the cod, little secret was a bit of frozen crab. <laughs> Between you and me, that, don't tell everybody, you all want it. Alright, so on my left rod, which is the Sentry, I have got a two hook flapper with worm, as you've just seen, you see me wrapping it up. It's quite a soft rod, so it's quite a bend in it. On the right hand rod, which is uh, a Ziplex, um, I've got a big bait, which is a squid and black wrap, um, chucked out with an eight ounce weight, just to hold bottom, because it's meant to be a heavier tide. I'm still not sure on the weight I'm meant to be using on this uh, Sentry, because it's still quite a new rod, so I'm just gonna experiment. I'll put a six on, it's quite bent, so I think, you know, see how it goes, but yeah. Oh, that's nice because I've got plenty of worm to use for today's day. As you can see, Chris is more than organised as per usual. Yeah, Absolutely love it. Nice. He's in his element, straightening out his worm. See how we went, defrosting the crab under the little LED lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, cut off, I'm not ready, am I? Ready for the off. I saw me frozen stuff, that stuff there. Bit of a mess, that's why I'm trying to dry it out. If you come into the Maisie, that there is exactly what you need as bait. Yes. You know, you can try other things as well, but that is pretty much what your you bog standard. Need, eh? yeah. You've got a few little uh, cab offs there. Frozen, mate, still trying to fall out a bit before I can use that. So there you go, that's all you need to come to the Maisie, really. I'm in a bucket to wash your hands. Which we, are, right. which we are going to sort out right now. Do you want me to go and get the water? Yeah, it's nice as well. Yeah. Here he goes. Let's get his water. Don't know if you remember the last time we were here, but um, it was foggy and you couldn't see nothing. Yep, yeah, that was me. Nearly fell. Right, better put my phone away for this, so I'm going to end up falling in. There go. He's doing his bit for the, doing his bit for the team, mate. Team player, Richie. Not that, a bit more than that. No, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> no, I'll put it away, mate. Fish is sparse enough at the moment. Here he comes. Man versus nature there. You know what I mean? Okay, let's be honest. These stairs of an evening scare the hell out of me, and I don't know why. They just do. True hero. Are you filming this time? Yeah, what do you mean I'm filming this time? I'm always filming for you, mate. <laughs> yeah, you nice water. Here you go, boo. Okay, I'll have to, Rich. Got plenty of water there to see us through the session. Just don't get your hands too dirty. More prepared for the towel this time. Yes, the towel. Towel. Base, nice and organised. Always should be. Trying to get 
Brownie points. There we go. Nice and clean. Yes. Keeping keeping everything separate from the bait is the idea because all well, my gear was getting rusty, dirty, and that. Yeah. Seems clean it all the time, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. You just put it back. Red box, put rigs, put weights in there. Any rubbish really, I should have had a carry bag put for that. Yeah, put there it in the go. back, take it out, as long as it's in your box and not on the floor, mate. And this box is way stronger than the V. Uh, it's the same dialer. It's a nice box, that, mate. I got this off Glen. Oh, yeah. I um, can't remember what I swapped them for. I swapped them for something. But uh, I thought, you know what, it's got the bait tray, it's going to keep things cleaner. There you go. So, yeah, my advice is to get one of them trays, get your bait in it. All your little stinky bits, and then you can just put it on the top there. And then when you get home or before you leave, get all your rubbish in the bin. Then just wash your tray in the water. Jobs are good. Okay. Towel there just to dry it off a bit as well. Yeah. See, yes. Yeah, see, I knew it'd rub off this. Bit of OCD, keeping stuff tidy. Doesn't save much, but it just makes the fishing a bit pleasurable. Yeah, just gotta catch your fish now. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. And Chris strikes first with a little waiting. Well, you know what that was on as well, brother? The uh, old stinky stuff that I saw as well before. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. That's way back, innit? There you go, off nice the mark, Chris, nice. safety bank. <laughs> 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 so, here we go, this is what we're dealing with. Someone's tip light down there in the water. <laughs> You see that coming back down the river? Yeah, uh, that's what we're dealing with. Let's just come in off the up and over. So I'm going to shorten my rig down, I think. Uh, try and skim through that weed in the water. I don't have to give. That was a snap off. Size popped in to see us. Um, asked us what brought us down on a 9.5 down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mad for the cod, I suppose. That's all I could say. But uh, I've just lost this uh, rig, as you've just seen there. Uh, snap off. That snag was horrendous. Nearly nearly lost my dog. Just can't get this snag out. Doesn't want it. just can't get it out, it doesn't want to budge. Got to do the walk of shame. Back to my tripod with my rod behind me. Oh my god. So, literally, I had to walk for donkeys then to get my gear back. Like I'll show you now. I'm going. Oh. Right down there. So I just did the walk of shame. 
Well, I've been out the water for a good half an hour. Uh, my first rod was snagged. I managed to get it out. And then um, my other one was bent double. Uh, so uh, I had to bring that in, but that took about I've probably been out the water for like 40 minutes because the, the, the battle to get the uh, the second rod out was a good 20 minutes. Um, Chris has had a, another little whiting, so he's not blanking. Um, the pull, as expected, 9.5 tide, the pull is insane. Uh, the rain's just starting as well. <sighs> it's been a hard session. I haven't stopped, which is good. I've been busy, but it's a tough session. But you gotta be in it to win it. This is what you can expect on over nine and a half meter tide, though, I suppose. Uh. Yeah, I think I'll take one of the rods down and I'll keep one out. There you go. Right, so I'm going to pack one down because we haven't got long to go anyway, and then uh, I'm going to keep one out. Any joy? Uh, well, I've just had the two of them on, mate. Uh, decent weight, and well, I wouldn't say decent, but it was all right here, you know, and then a little small one afterwards. Uh, quiet. Since, but I'm not going to be beaten by this, mate. 9.5. No, oh, nah, I want to stay till the end, mate. It's hard work, isn't it? Though? It's hard work, mate. <laughs> Me mega pull, relentless. Yeah, hopefully, it slackens off soon, though. So, yes, well, I'm, I'm not giving know. up, mate. Yeah, I, I nearly had a moment where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go and have a kip in the van and yeah, pack it's down, been but, rain, a bit of that, but your tripod's been flipping over and all sorts, hasn't it? Though? Yeah. yeah. It has Never underestimate the power of the Mersey, ever. Always be aware, strong tides are always, always at the Mersey, no matter if it's a nine meter, seven meter, the Mersey is a strong, strong river. Well, it's uh, just gone off, it's 12. Uh, high tide's been and gone, there was no slack. It was just relentless, mate. That's what it was. Relentless. Just pull, pull, pull. We gave it a really good try. Chris didn't blank. I blanked, but I wasn't sitting in the house and I wasn't doing anything unproductive. I was out giving it a go, trying to get a cod in a really high tide. So, look, I've learned to quite a few lessons with the new rod. I made up with that. Uh, I've got to fish with Chris, uh, first one of the new year for me, and uh, first one for the new year and after Chris's uh, complications with uh, Covid, so all good. all good in the hood and we shall be back and hopefully we'll have a bigger fish than... Uh, can't be any worse than what we've got so far mate. Yeah, we'll get something, but anyway, on a positive note, Please be careful of the water on these super tides. It, it's it's really, really, really risky. Don't risk it, take any chances. So I'm saying that. Stay safe. Tight lines. Take care. <laughs>